Temperatures for the weekend. We'll have that forecast coming up. WMBD News at 6 starts right now. They start becoming more reliant on it and taking higher amounts. Tonight at 6, the battle against drug addiction and abuse, the obstacles prescription painkillers could create. Plus, an opening on the board for Peoria Public Schools. Who's stepping down and why? And a local health care provider is collaborating with the VA clinic to help more veterans. That story coming up. But first, the board for Peoria Public Schools needs to start looking for a new member. One of the members who served nine years on the board resigned earlier today. It's our top story at 6. A D-150 spokesperson told WMBD News that Reverend Linda Butler sent her letter of resignation to Board President Martha Ross this morning. Her resignation will go into effect on April 8th, just one week from today. Peoria School Board is not scheduled to meet until April 11th. In her letter, Butler wrote, My decision to leave the board is largely due to the needs and obligations of family and ministry. It has been an honor to serve the community for nine years as a representative of Peoria Public Schools. WMBD News will share updates on filling Butler's position both on air and online as we learn more. A story out of our Twin Cities newsroom. The number of painkillers prescribed in the United States have skyrocketed over the last 25 years. According to the CDC, 2 million Americans were prescribed an opioid drug like Vicodin in 2014. WMBD's Lindsay Harrison looked into the abuse concerns with this trend. The U.S. Center for Disease Control estimates that 20% of Americans who go to the doctor with non-cancer related symptoms will leave with a prescription painkiller. I think that part of the reason why we use so many is um, Americans have a lot of chronic pain. Chronic pain is pain that lasts more than three months, like joint or back pain. In 2012, U.S. physicians wrote 259 million opioid prescriptions. That's mainly where they're overprescribed. Libby Geeson, a pharmacist at Advocate Broman Medical Center in Bloomington, works with opioids and patients every day. She says the average person is probably using the medication as they should. If you take them um, as prescribed, then you're not likely to become addicted. But for some people, prolonged use can lead to addiction. They can create a positive feeling. Um, and there are certain people who are more susceptible to that than others. That's where we run into abuse. That's why facilities keep the drugs locked away with strict oversight policies. Opioid abuse has been directly linked to the heroin epidemic, which is cheaper and easier to get. They start becoming more reliant on it and taking higher amounts and more um, prescription pain meds. The CDC recently released new guidelines for prescribing painkillers, recommending that doctors try other options first. They're hoping that by using other non opioid treatments first, maybe we can lessen the amount of opioids that are prescribed. In Bloomington, Lindsay Harrison, WMBD News. The CDC did note its new recommendations did not apply to cancer patients or patients nearing the end of their life when the focus switches to keeping patients as comfortable as possible. Well, continuing coverage on the bomb scare that shut down the Peoria Airport yesterday. As we told you last night, the airport director estimates the false alarm cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. WMBD News talked with Peoria County Sheriff Mike McCoy this morning. He says he plans to write a letter to the National Abortion Federation once he has the final price tag. That's where the passenger Michelle Davidson works. She had checked a training device that looks like a homemade bomb when she set off the alarms. Sheriff McCoy says he's hoping the Federation will take responsibility for some of the costs. An update to another WMBD story. It's the first day on the job for the Bloomington Coliseum's new management company. VenueWorks 90-day contract begins today. City Council approved the contract at its meeting on Monday. While the new company is transitioning in, Bloomington is still trying to finalize a deal to buy the concession equipment from the previous management company. The two groups have not been able to agree on a price at this point. City says it hopes to have more information on the deal next week. When we see an emergency vehicle on the highway, the law says move to the furthest lane, but we might have to do that for all vehicles stalled on the road. It's a story out of our Springfield newsroom. A bill would require highway drivers to change lanes or reduce their speed when passing a vehicle stalled on the side of the road. By the end of last year, the state saw close to 920 deadly crashes. That led to more than 1,000 deaths. New tonight, Children's Home and Aid kicks off Child Abuse Awareness Month with a blue ribbon brunch. The blue ribbon symbol started in 1989 when a grandmother tied a ribbon to the antenna of her car to represent her grandson who died from abuse. At today's brunch, the group handed out several awards to volunteers and community partners and shared proclamations from surrounding towns 
and Governor Rauner commemorating the month. Organizers say events like this can keep hope alive. This is really important to remind people that there is hope. We are doing a lot. Their work is appreciated. We do have more work to do, um, but we are all coming together for the cause. Children's Home and Aid will host more events over the next month to raise awareness, including a 5K run and a family fun night. Well, April is also Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Julie Bolin with the Center for Prevention of Abuse says it's something people don't usually want to talk about. But today, the center's director, Carol Myrna, brought up some startling statistics. Someone is assaulted or raped in the United States every two minutes or 30 people every hour. 63% of those cases go unreported. The center hosted a walk today to shed light on the issue. Most importantly, Myrna wants to, people to know resources are out there. Rape and sexual assault are probably one of the most underreported crimes because people don't necessarily have the faith that they should in the justice system. We're very fortunate in Central Illinois to have great partners through our law enforcement. Marta says that rapists are processed faster in Central Illinois than they are in other parts of the state. Students at Bradley University are raising awareness this month that no form of unwanted sexual contact is ever okay. As part of the Talk to Chief Brian Joshko. He wants students to know the police are on their side. The University Police Department has never authorized anything to be worn on their uniforms prior to this, and I don't know if we will after this, um, but this is such a great cause uh, that it was unanimously supported by my command staff. Joshko says bystander intervention programs have been particularly helpful with students, letting them know it's okay to step in. Illinois Wesleyan University is celebrating the inauguration of its new president, Eric Jensen, this weekend. And inaugurations are fairly rare, and when they happen, you want to have a big celebration. And it's a time for the university to look to the past and to look to the future, and then, I guess, experience the present. Events kicked off yesterday with a guest speaker and continued today as six notable alumni came back to speak. They included Emmy Award winner Kevin Dunn and Hall of Fame sports writer Dave Kendrick. The celebration will continue through tomorrow. Still to come, the VA clinic isn't the only option for veterans. How OSF Healthcare has stepped in to help. And numerous showers have been moving through central Illinois all day. Take a look at this time lapse in Pontiac as several showers, some a little bit on the stronger side with some small hail pushed on through. Could we see more of this heading into the weekend? A full forecast is coming up next. You're watching WMPD News at 6 in high definition with Paul Cecchini. Chief Meteorologist Chris Yates with your local weather authority forecast. And Kurt Fegler with sports. This is WMBD News at 6, Central Illinois Proud. Right now, getting beautiful designs at amazingly low prices is a slam dunk at Furniture Row. You'll find special savings throughout the stores, plus score up to three years no interest. But hurry, the Slam Dunk Savings event at Furniture Row ends Thursday. What does a guy like me enjoy more than juicy beef, butter, and tender steak? This price, the new buttery steak burger, only $1.99. Checkers and rallies, fast foodies know the deal. Meet Sharon. She's not just someone who can make a Cancun vacation tax deductible. She's a marketer. And all it took was constant contact. Sharon's emails and her fast fingers keep clients flocking back. Try it free at constantcontact.com. From the first building block to the last coat of paint, Menards is here to help you build all of your projects with an 11% rebate on everything. Add style and save energy with Hunter Ceiling Fans. Get this 52-inch Fremont ceiling fan available in a premier bronze or brushed nickel finish for just $75.64 after 11% rebate. Stop in for an 11% rebate on everything. Now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You deserve the best, and at Denver Mattress, we deliver it with our Doctor's Choice Plush. Selected by the nation's leading consumer magazine as the best mattress buy under $800. Discover ultimate support and comfort for a great night's sleep. Denver Mattress, America's largest factory direct retailer. From the first building block to the last coat of paint, 
Menards is here to help you build all of your projects with an 11% rebate on everything. Whether you're creating a new kitchen or a backyard getaway, you'll save 11% on all of it. So you can finish your latest project and start planning the next big thing. Get building with an 11% rebate on everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. The Storm Tracker Skycam Network, brought to you by Parker Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Now, your local weather authority, WMBD's chief meteorologist, Chris Yates. Welcome back. It's been a cool day with scattered rain showers moving through all of central Illinois on and off this afternoon. And we're right, or right now getting some rain moving through normal. Nice shot from our sundown roofing sky cam. This is about the end of it. Once this last line of showers pushes through, skies will gradually become mostly clear. Temperature cool, hanging at 48 degrees. Winds a little breezy from the west at 18 miles per hour. Temps mainly in the 40s now, 46 in Peoria, 46 in Kiwani. You're in the upper 40s, at least from my 55. Uh, through Pontiac into Bloomington and down into Lincoln. Cooler temperatures will be settling in for the weekend, along with some gusty winds. Hopefully, at least tonight, things are really looking uh, not so bad. It will be a little cool by early tomorrow morning. But the last of the rain now pushing through our eastern counties. That'll continue to move out. Dry air off to the west will move in, giving us mostly clear skies late tonight and at least through part of tomorrow. Maybe another system coming in that's going to keep the weather pattern fairly active. And at this front, it is going to bring us at least some cooler temperatures back to the 40s. Tomorrow, another front coming through tomorrow afternoon brings us another surge of cool air. So temperatures will be cool yet again Sunday morning. With temperatures near to below freezing, and then we warm up Sunday afternoon very briefly back into the 60s. But you know what? Another front Sunday night into Monday drops the temperatures right back down into the 40s. So it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster ride over the next several days with our temperatures, and it doesn't just stop Monday. This will continue through much of next week. As well. All right, so our cold front's pushing through. It's bringing the last of the rain to areas along I 55 now, but tonight skies become mostly clear until very early tomorrow morning. That's when that next front begins to push in from the west. We'll start seeing the clouds increase, and for a time tomorrow morning, skies will be mostly cloudy. Your temperatures around the freezing mark tonight. We could be looking at some patchy frost by early tomorrow morning. So if you have vegetation out there, it's already starting to pop up, and you may want to protect it by putting a blanket down tonight and again tomorrow night. Now, as we go through tomorrow, some cloud cover out there. There could be some flurries up north. I don't think we'll see much of anything down this, at least this far south. But skies will be mostly clear by lunchtime and should stay that way as we go through tomorrow evening. The bigger story tomorrow, though, the wind speeds. They'll start off breezy and just come uh, become outright gusty by early afternoon. Winds will be sustained at 25 to 35 miles per hour, occasionally gusting between 40 and 45 miles per hour. And then tomorrow night, those wind speeds begin to come down. But a wind advisory in effect through all of tomorrow across all of central Illinois. Highs tomorrow mainly in the 40s, so it'll be cool. These highs will likely be hit right around lunchtime before dropping down into the lower 40s in the afternoon. But that extended forecast, we got 60 on, uh, 63 on Sunday for dropping back into the 40s early next week. All right, thanks, Chris. Well, fact versus fiction, your local weather authority separates the two in a special report on lightning. That's next. Peoria, Pekin, Pontiac. There's a McDonald's serving our neighbors throughout central Illinois with managers and crew that live right here in our community. Now they're serving a sausage McMuffin with egg and any one of these great breakfast tastes all day long for just $3.50 at McDonald's. Check it out. The central Illinois Auto Show. Check out the 27th Annual Central Illinois Auto Show at the Peoria Civic Center. Meet lookalikes Princess Elsa, SpongeBob SquarePants, and Paw Patrol's Chase located at the Celebrity Center and walking around on Saturday and Sunday. Bring your camera, sponsored by Autotrader.com. All at the Central Illinois Auto Show, April 8th through 10th at the Peoria Civic Center. You gotta check it out. Buying a mattress can be complicated. Every manufacturer has a different system for telling you which one's soft and which one's firm. So you go anywhere from ultra firm to super extra soft pillow top to double euro pillow top. What does all that mean? So to make your life a lot easier, Sherman's built a machine to test every single mattress we have on the floor. Every Tempur-Pedic, every Sealy, every Stearns and Foster, consistently. The Sherman's comfort rating system greatly increases the chances the mattress you end up with is one that's going to give you a phenomenal night's sleep. McCafe Fresh Baked Muffins. They come in a variety of flavors like blueberry, double chocolate, and the new carrot muffin. That man's got nothing on us. Now add a McCafe Fresh Baked Muffin to any purchase for just $1 at McDonald's.
Considering buying or selling your home, Mary Halliday would love to work for you. People who love Tempur-Pedic and love sleeping happy love Mattress Firm. My Tempur-Pedic made me fall in love with mornings again. And I love how it conforms to my body. I love my bed. They love the in-stock selection only America's number one Tempur-Pedic retailer can offer. And it's ready for immediate delivery. Get up to $300 in Mattress Firm bonus cash with select Tempur-Pedic mattress set purchases. Like the all-new Temper Breeze designed to keep you cool all night. So let Mattress Firm help you fall asleep and fall in love. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. Stop by and get a two-pound package of strawberries for only $2.88. And half gallons of Kroger milk are 10 for $10. Great food, low prices. At Kroger. It's Bergner's Super Saturday Sale this Saturday with a preview day Friday. Save up to 60% store wide and shop over 110 doorbusters all day Friday and Saturday. Like 60% off Lady Sportswear, Ladies Clark Sandals $59.97, 50% off Kids Fashions, and buy one get two free sheet sets. This Saturday with a Friday preview. Shop in store or online. Bergner's, your store, your style. It's College Road Trip Week on Wheel. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Where the party never ends. Do that move again. I like that. And everybody wins money. We can afford to give it away. Next Wheel. Weekdays at 6.30 on WMBD. You're watching WMBD News at 6. OSF Healthcare is now participating in a program to help veterans. The healthcare provider joined the VA Choice Provider Program. Some veterans will be eligible to visit OSF facilities for treatment instead of traveling to a Veterans Health Administration or VA facility. All 11 OSF facilities are participating in the program. I think it's a huge benefit to veterans and their families, particularly from a travel perspective. If they were needed some extensive care that was going to take uh, multiple visits or whatever, for them to be able to get that care locally. Veterans who want to participate have to sign up at their normal VA clinic before going to an OSF facility. Well, in other news, the odds of being struck by lightning in your lifetime are higher than you might think. According to the National Weather Service, it's 1 in 12,000. Meteorologist Rachel Kay sets us straight on some of the biggest lightning myths to help us stay safe this storm season. You may have grown up thinking that golf in a thunderstorm is the most likely way to get struck by lightning because of that metal club. It's true that metal does conduct electricity, but it doesn't necessarily attract it. Lightning is actually attracted to the most accessible spot, which usually means something tall, isolated, and pointy. Believe it or not, a study done by the National Weather Service shows that three times as many fishermen and twice as many campers die from lightning strikes than golfers do. And unfortunately, on average, 49 people die in the United States from lightning strikes each year. Now, Illinois is ranked in the top 20 states with seven deaths and more injuries between 2005 and 2014. It's a number that we want to keep down. And the best way to keep safe is to be aware of the weather and make sure you're near a safe building or vehicle when a storm is coming so you can take shelter. You may have heard the phrase, when thunder roars, go indoors. And it really could not be more important to remember. If you're outside, a tree or a picnic table won't protect you as well as your instinct might make you think. Standing within a few feet of a tree that gets struck means the current can jump to you. Electricity also travels through the ground and has the potential to affect anything within about 60 feet of that strike. Now, a car is a much safer place, but that's not because of the tires like you might have thought. It's because the metal around the car conducts the strike right down into the ground. It's the same way a lightning rod works on your house. But keep in mind, the current can travel through wires, pipes, and water in your home. So if you are inside, you want to stay away from plumbing and electronics with cords. And remember, lightning can strike the same place twice. The Empire State Building is actually hit about 100 times every year. Thanks, Rachel. Well, June, July, and August are the peak months for thunderstorms, and summer is also when the most people spend time outside. Meteorologist Rachel Kay says you should not be afraid to postpone something like a soccer match on a stormy day. Yeah, and if someone you know does be, is struck by lightning, it is okay to touch them. And that's not all. Immediate CPR may save their life. Still ahead, Bradley's best female golfer ever will play her final home tournament this weekend. 
Kurt has the story next in sports. When a potentially dangerous situation shut down the Peoria airport. Officials found a suspicious package during screenings this morning. WMBD was there. The bomb squad has been called to the scene. First on the air, first to get you answers. We've since learned that bag contained sticks labeled dynamite, liquid bottles, and a timing device. Separating fact and fiction and getting you the correct information. The woman is being questioned and says those were training devices for abortion clinics. When it matters most, Central Illinois trusts WMBD News. In 1934, Steak and Shake decided the world didn't need another hamburger. They needed a steak burger, so they used 100% beef. Quick sear to seal in the flavor you'll only get from a steak burger. Steak and Shake, home of the original steak burger. Dean Dell Pool's new showroom is now open. Grand opening specials. Save hundreds on above ground pools and spas during the sale. With a staff that has over 200 years of combined experience, we'll be here to service you long after the sale. Dean Dell Pools now open on Brandywine Drive, Peoria. Did you fix the leak in the roof? Did I leave the stove on? I heard it's going to storm this week. No baseball in the house. I have nowhere to watch the game. We should remodel the bathroom. Our kitchen is so outdated. I want a front porch with a swing. How fast are Allegra gel caps? There, I didn't know you got a cat fast. How strong are Allegra gel caps? 10 more lawns to go strong. Allegra is the fastest non-drowsy allergy relief you can buy. Even against your worst allergy symptoms, relief stays strong for 24 hours. They're relief even when pollen's off the charts strong. Allegra gel caps. Nothing's faster, nothing stronger. Guaranteed or your money back. Now, your local sports with WMBD's Kurt Pegler. It's the unofficial start of the Lovey Smith era at Illinois. The former Bears and current Illini coach presides over his first practice tonight as the Illini open spring workouts. This comes less than four weeks after he was hired and just days after he announced his completed coaching staff. Smith isn't exactly sure what he'll see at tonight's first practice, but his assistant coaches already have confidence in the team. Coach McGee has uh, assured us that he has assured Coach Nickerson that as long as we keep him under 39, we're going to win a lot of football games. So I, I really am excited about seeing our entire football team. The Illini will have 15 spring practices this month, but will not have a spring game. ISU is wrapping up its first week of spring practice, and the stars of the first week might be the offensive line. All five starters are back to the Burns, which might make life a little bit easier for new starters at quarterback. We're off the field, and we work hard on the field. Um, we do shelter the well together, but we know we got a long way to go, and that's what the spring is all about. We're used to mostly where each other's going to be at, but um, all technique starts to run out this time of year. It's all getting better, uh, perfecting our craft. But the question of the day is there's a couple of snaps yesterday, and we had been live with full pads on it, it was a snowplow. I mean, those guys were all working together, and they were all really smart and real physical. will not have Nick Banyard back in uniform next season. Dan Muller announces Banyard, who's heading into his senior year, will graduate this summer and then transfer to the forward player in all 32 games for ISU, averaging about five points and four rebounds. Finally, this little guy just trying to get through the fence. He wants to watch the baseball game. Why? Well, he's the son of the Tremont coach, Rob Wicks, who wants to come over and give a high five from the sun. That will make you smile on a cold day, even if your team is winning. That's my baby smile. You know, I love that. I 
Sunday or stream it live. From the first building block to the last coat of paint, Menards is here to help you build all of your projects with an 11% rebate on everything. Add style and save energy with Hunter ceiling fans. Get this 52 inch Fremont ceiling fan available in a premier bronze or brushed nickel finish for just $75.64 after 11% rebate. Stop in for an 11% rebate on everything now at Menards. Now's the time to get beautiful designs for every room in your home. At Slam Dunk Savings. During the final days of the Slam Dunk Savings event at Furniture Row, you'll find special deals throughout the stores and save hundreds of dollars on queen beds, dining room groups, and living room groups, and more. Plus, score up to three years no interest. But hurry, the Slam Dunk Savings event at Furniture Row ends Thursday. A little help? Unity Point Clinic Health Beat on CIProud.com. Get the latest in medical information straight from the experts, helping Central Illinois live long and feel better. Unity Point Clinic Health Beat on CIProud.com. The point of unity is you. WMBD and WYZZ invite you to join us April 29th with country music star Scotty Mercury at the American Red Cross Heartland Heroes Benefit. Tickets are available now at the Civic Center box office and at Ticketmaster.com. You're watching WMBD News at 6. All right, a final check of weather tonight. Not as bad as yesterday, I guess. With it's the still, rain. Yeah, it's still going to be a little chilly, though. That's one thing we're going to have to watch out for. 33 degrees tonight. Uh, patchy frost possibility by tomorrow. So if you have any vegetation out there that may be coming in a little early, you might want to protect it with a blanket. Tonight, 49 de uh, tomorrow, 49 degrees for high. But it'll be windy, expecting gusts approaching 45. It'll spike to about 63 on Sunday, but it's going to drop back into the 40s early next week. All right, thanks, Chris. We'll see you at 10. Have a great night. Good night.